Hey, we're Ryan Dan. And you're watching Dishtaka TV. Hello, testing one, two, three. Okay, testing what one, two. What did we have for breakfast? We had, I had a great breakfast. I had some strawberries. I had some a little mango, ketchup. Some strawberries and ketchup? I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Strawberry, why you have ketchup you here? That? Nobody does that. Ketchup is excellent with fruit. Ugh, you put a little sugar on the top. Dan, maybe with mango, but not oh, strawberries. Oh, it's great. Love I'm it. You, Love mango, it. You take mango. Hold on, we're doing an interview here. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Yeah. We just came back from Australia and Hong Kong mm -hmm. as well. Um, you know, we've been traveling all over Europe. Tomorrow we're going to, to Canada and New York as well. Just the other day, Ryan and I were just speaking and saying, you know, I mean, how many people get the chance to travel all over the world, perform in so many amazing places? I mean, we've never been to Portugal before, so Beautiful, we're so yeah. happy to, to be here and looking forward to coming back here and doing a tour in about January, February time. I'll Portugal. tell you something about Portugal that, you know, when we came here, the first thing that we noticed, you have beautiful women, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Beautiful and, weather. And beautiful weather. What more do you need? And a beautiful language. We love, we love the Portuguese language. We're we, learning a little bit of the language. What did we learn already? Um, bonitas Aurelias. We learned... Um, then why would we need to know that? It's very important. To who would you tell that? I don't know. I just like saying Aurelias. 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 That's good. Anyway, I think any twins would, would have fun and play games like that. Um, and, and with the tests and the... Oh, all the oh, time. Yeah, we, we used to take each other's tests in You school. know, I used to take Dan's math tests. He used to take my science tests. Um, you know, actually, just re Ryan just tried flying on using my passport. Because he did... He was renewing his passport at the yeah. time. It was possible to do it, that? Well, I got caught, so oh. I mean... Yeah. He did. I told him not to do it, and he went, and he did it, Oops. and he got caught. We love, you know, musicals like Les Miserables, and you know, we we some of the newer ones, yeah. But I mean, you know, it was to, to be able to record our album with a big 62-piece orchestra. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of that music, even in those those musicals back in the day, were you know these big productions. So very um, influential to us. So we love. I mean, Stevie Wonder, we're a big, big fan of, and uh, that's what we. I mean, we we really have we listen to so many different types of of genres of music. So that's what we did with. You know the album. So we put we have an album. We have I'll Be There, which is a bit more a bit R and B. We have The Prayer, which is more classical. We have Like the Sun, which is a bit more pop. The music can can be toward young kids. It can be toward grandparents as well. You know we get fan mail literally from all ages, and it's nice to see sort of everyone coming together and and just listening to to music that they enjoy. What moves you to to write the, the lyrics in terms of? Uh I think, you know, yeah, that's exactly what, yeah. what you know. Life, life experience, it people's friends' experiences, things that we hear about on yeah, the news. Stories that you hear all the time. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, mean, one of the songs we wrote uh, on our album is called Tears of an Angel. And, uh, you know, it was, it was sort of a sad time that we went through. While we were recording the album in London, we got a phone call from our family in Canada telling us that our three-and-a-half-year-old niece has a, a brain tumor. Yeah, so it was a very tough time. We stopped recording, flew back to Canada to be with her. And, uh, and we wrote this song, wrote this song called yeah. Tears of an Angel, which, I mean, it's, she passed away, actually, about uh, a month and a bit ago. But we um, always have that song for the rest of our lives, and yeah, it's very special to us. To, to help you also and your family. To, Absolutely. To, to, yeah. To, yeah. As soon as we, as soon as we f signed with Universal, one of the people that they introduced us to um, was Steve Anderson. And we met him, and we got along so well with him. We, He's so talented, he really is, and yeah. he brought so much to, the, to our album and to our music. And uh, just very talented. I mean, as you said, he, he, he worked with Kylie Minogue and Paul McCartney. And, you know, and even so. the studio that he, that he brought us to was, was just a beautiful, uh, you know, gorgeous studio. It was t a Terry Britton's studio. And Terry Britton wrote What's Love Got to Do With It for Tina Turner. And he had, you know, amazing equipment. He has this, you know, uh, Frank Sinatra's microphone that we recorded our album on. We write music all the time. Um, and, you know, we're... But soon we'll probably record album number two, but right now we're yeah. so focused on traveling all over the world and bringing this music to as many people as and we can. With those travels, with uh, some, so many different cultures, it's, yeah. it's going to be like a bigger, even, uh, an even bigger influence in your For life. sure, Absolutely. exactly. 100%. I mean, I, we, we learn every day from meeting so many different kinds of people and visiting so many beautiful places mm -hmm. um, that, yeah, as you said, it, it, will, it will show in our music probably in album number two. Definitely. It's going to be called Album Number Two. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. probably. Yeah. I think it's amazing to be able to take, um, you know, your music and your videos and different things like that to so many, to millions and millions of people all over the world. So Definitely. I think you know those different sites are, are a great way for for artists to get themselves out there by themselves. Yeah, through the labels or by themselves. Exactly. exactly. You don't necessarily need a record company, but in that way. We have, we have an official YouTube page, okay. youtube.com okay. 
um, slash, slash Ryan Den official.